What's going on guys? Lone Wolf Niner here. Today I'm going to be playing a little more Legacy Mode with Tommy the Duke Morrison. I believe we left off on Joe Lewis last time. Had to fight him twice. Won both fights. Obviously, 15-0, 9 KOs. Let's go. Next fight is, uh, I believe it is uh, Rocky Marciano. Yes, 53-1 and one with 46 KOs. Let's go, baby. What a scene here as we welcome you to this live pay-per-view extravaganza. Woo, finally on pay-per-view, baby. And welcome to the New York City Arena here in Midtown Manhattan for tonight's main event. Ten rounds among heavyweights. This should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday. Now it gets to explode. I had to box out Lewis for two fights last time. That was a boring fight for me. I think I'm going to bring it to uh, Morrison today, or uh, Rocky Marciano today. He's making his way to the ring now, and he looks very focused for this fight. 53 and 1, 46 knockouts. Okay. I should have the reach and the height, so I think I'm just going to be aggressive and bring it right to him. Want to bang out this fucking fight here? All let's right. have a good clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. Should I feel him out one round first? See what he's about? I already see he's going to be stepped up for those uppercuts there because he's ducking a lot. You know, the mentality for boxing, you always have that the same as for a runner in a way. Gotta be ready to go to this. Ready to run a marathon. Not everything is a sprint. He's ready now. Now he shouldn't have the speed on me. That's why I'm thinking I put a lot of speed in it for this fight. That's why I was thinking I should just bang him out. Jesus. Jesus. And right from the start, he's throwing the power punches and landing them. I think he has a date. He wants to get to it. To the belt line he goes with the left hand. Oh my. Oh my. All right, let's back out of here for a minute here. <laughs> I don't want to get too fucking carried away with myself here. A fast fighter in a situation like this, a speed fighter when he's fighting a guy with low stance. Put yourself in a position where you can use that speed, where you can control things. The dimension you want. Damn it. You have to use that ring. Make the guy walk to you. Make the guy burn up. Scores with the combo to the head. Those body shots are fucking me up, bro. He's throwing nothing but power body shots. Alright, we gotta go tap the tap to the body, I guess. No? Jesus. Does he think it? I think he's right. I think that he probably has very little time left before the referee or the doctor is going to stop this. And he needs to be thinking that way if he's not. Damn, he sliced already. All right, I can't be too aggressive with him, and I thought I could, but... Oh, see? There you go. That's exactly why I can't be. Unreal. And that's exactly what he needs. And it's not hard to hit 
the mark when the mark's coming at you. The right choice of a punt. Both these guys obviously hopeful that their cut men will be up to the task tonight. What does it take to be a great cut man? And you know, that's a great question. First of all, you better have the right coagulants, the right chemicals, the right medication. Jesus, man. Avertine, adrenaline, and you have to have Vaseline where you can put it on it. But the most important thing, you have to be calm. You can't panic. And you have to put pressure on that cut, just the right amount of pressure, and then you put those medicines in it, and then you better have a fighter that can give you a round or two. He can move around and not get caught right away. Give the medicine a chance to work. Able to cover up that gut. Unable to score with the hook. Good looking jab there. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. He scored well after being hit himself. Man, I don't know why my left hand will not hit. It's driving me nuts. It's like I'm swinging at fucking air, bro. You give him a little shade, you know, a little shadow, and then he throws at you, pull back, bang, come right back with your own. Morrison's left, working well then. <sighs> Around that I'm having a tough time trying to think about who won. I can only imagine what the judges are thinking about. Teddy, if there's one thing you look for in a round like that, say, okay, there it is. He could be on the deck at moment. Thank you. Holy crap, man. He gets up after that punch, put him down on the canvas. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. Lands a big hook. I like the way he went up top that time with the hook. Scores big with the hook to the hand. Morrison jacked up by an uppercut. Hit the what an excellent two punch combo by Morrison. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Get the fuck out of here with that, bro. Holy shit, man. He is swinging for the fences, trying to get his man after being hurt himself, able to dismiss it. And you can see he wanted to do that. Like, I fucking blocked it and everything. Still hurts me with it. Block gets through anyways. Good way to protect the midsection. Ten seconds to go in this third round. He just missed that shot up top. Morrison's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. And round three comes to an end. Round number four underway, a chance to look at Teddy's scorecard. Tommy Jesus, man. Those body shots are fucking ridiculous. One area other than he's been a little more active. Yeah, he has been more active. The only thing that I worry about as a trainer, I would be concerned he has to work harder than the other guy to get things done. I don't know how his stamina ain't depleted. He's throwing nothing but power shots, man. Nice block by Tommy I'm limited on power shots, and my stamina drops. This guy's like throwing non-stop. You can hear him when they hit me. They're fucking vibrating. Those are power shots. 
Well, it's two things. The easiest one is the legs, Joe. I want to see if they're steady, if they're firm, if he's okay. But the next thing is his personality, believe it or not. It's kind of like when you go out to a bar with someone, they have a few drinks, and all of a sudden they're a different person. You know they're drunk. Well, I want to see whether or not my fight is drunk. If he starts rushing at the guy, starts acting in a way that he's never acted before, I know it's time to pull the plug. A little head hunting with the right. Wow, a big flush blow to the left hand by Tommy Moore. I don't know what I got to do to hurt these boys. But holy shit. Can't get any cleaner shots than those, man. Not an accurate hook at all. And Ellie ties up there. Morrison's right hand scores well. Nice combination. Jab. Uppercut to the head. That fucking hook drives me nuts, man. How it just, I don't know. I might have to pick a different style for him. Well, we've seen a fighter with a bad cut, and sometimes a fighter that now has a much greater sense of urgency. Yeah, right now, if he was gambling, if he was in a casino. See what I mean? I just, I don't. The guy wasn't even blocking, and he just swings it like he misses completely. It's like what? Opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he got in a corner and he's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. Fires off the hook. Look at that. Really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by Morrison. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Fighting jab by Tommy. Yeah, like, look at that. Come on. Good accuracy with that uppercut. Good looking counter punch. Jesus, bro, I don't know what I gotta do. Morrison's able to land a nice clean left hand. A well targeted jab that time. And that's exactly what you need when you want to stay on the outside. Something that keeps you away from your opponent. A flush hook scores well for him. Oh, good exchange there. How about that left hand? Oh. Come on. Morrison's well off the mark there. right on it and now he's targeting upstairs Morrison's given us a good showcase of defense here tonight especially up top his head movement is just sublime and his opponents cooperate with him a little bit Jesus he's looking for that big shot and he's continuing to miss making no adjustments a guy's moving his head you know what you want to do a little bit what's that well you want to faint him a little bit make him make a premature move and then when he moves to either side then you time him with a punch don't just go out there flailing away sets up that right hand with the jab how are they getting in man that's oh my up Rocky I'm going to take a beating let's go and he didn't Woo! I'll take it I will take it that saves my body I'll be surprised if I'm not bleeding from my spleen here
That was awesome, though. I did not think he was going to stay down. I will take it, though, baby. That's cool. All right, let's see if we were injured. I'm pretty sure we are to the body. No, short notice fight if you're interested. Absolutely not. Get off me. Get off my messenger. Rebox, don't want to hear about you. You're moving up a legacy. Things I already know. Okay. Who do you got for me, boys? Give me something good. Joe Fraser, just what I wanted last fight. Okay. All right. Give me Joe. We're going to go to Big Bear. Do the training at Big Bear, man. Let's get her done. All right, just finished up the training. Let's, let's go to our growth here. What do we, what do we have here? Yeah, I'd like to build the uppercut right there, but... Hmm. Uh, <clears throat> I think this is capped out. I'm not going to really... I'll probably build the blocking up all the way, but Morrison had a good job, but it wasn't the greatest. So I'm going to leave the one star, but I will put that there for blocking. All right. Damn, that cost that much? Oh, I didn't have much to begin with. Jesus. That training session sucked. I didn't even realize that. All right, I'll put one more in the, uh, unless we can go all the way there. No. Oh, that's why, that's right. Hmm. I guess that'll be good for there. With the one on blocking. Uppercut. Lap tuck. All right, Joe Frazier. Let's get it, baby. Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to a sold-out boardwalk hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey, for our main event of the evening. Ten rounds of heavyweights. And now the time has come. All the talk, now comes the walk. Morrison's ring walks have been known as circus spectaculars, but yet, with all that, to him, it's a moment of extreme attention. Joe Frazier's now making his way to the ring, and you can see how focused he is for the task at hand. Ended up switching Tommy's style, too. For some reason, they had it on Chavez. A Mexican-style fighter. Which Tommy, the Duke, had a good hook. So I had to give him back his original style. So hopefully that would help out with that hook connecting a little more. It's got that Foreman cross that block there, so uppercuts. A crushing two punch combo by Tommy Morrison. Joe Frazier, of course, one of the all time great knockout punchers, but the guy's going up again tonight. He can take care of you. Yeah, he can bank. Frazier's mind, he's got the bazooka, though. He's as big as anyone else. They have a little stiletto. There. Yeah. Let's see some in a good solid combination. Halfway through this 
first round here. In and out. Yeah, give him one. Huge left hand from Smoking Joe. Razor's on the bad end of a big hook upstairs. Oh, he turns it over right into a hook. Let's get him. Razor's bang to Let's the get him. And he just oh. Oh. It was fast and it was direct by Joe Frazier. Combination to the head. Little head knocking with that right hand. That uppercut is in there, boy. And this round comes to an end. Morrison's approach here is to score from the outside. He used a lot of stamina, but I definitely stole that round. Well, he sees that his opponent is coming in the same way all the time, so he's picking him up, hot shotting him a little bit. He was eating that uppercut, close. boy. You gotta get his respect. You gotta take it to him for a bit. Pick the speed up and change up your punches. You need to. Here we go. Round two is underway. Fine looking right hand by Tommy Morrison. Morrison's left now getting into the middle. Ah. Ah. Oh, well upstairs with the right hand. Frazier's left landing well. See the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Well up top. And as we've seen Ooh. early on here, he's backing up already. Damn. Good fucking counter. Very nice work from both men. They each got a shot in. Off to the side. We'll swing and miss. Alright, I gotta relax a little bit. I've already dropped my stamina a lot. Pick him apart here. Fuck. Inside, inside. Huge uppercut from Smoking Joe. Scores up top with a left. You see how ah. effective, you see how much you can control the fight with a jab. That was well done by Tommy Morrison. Letting him know who really has that left hook. Hook downstairs, then upstairs. Up and down, right? Come on. Keep your hands up, right? Yeah, my stamina's dropped. 86, he's 91. I'm gonna have to take this round off and relax. Hopefully I won these first three rounds. Or two rounds. Showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Come on, buddy. Get aggressive. You know you want to. Come on, kid. Bust Huge right hand from Frazier. Boy, sharp two punch combination by Tommy Morrison. Morrison's making for a clinic here in combination punches. Well, the first couple punches here, Joe, they're throwaway punches. To really set up the payoff down the road. You see the third punch, the fourth punch, the fifth punch. They are the ones that wind up landing. Fuck. Good 
shot to the head with that right hand. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Oh, I tried slipping. Caught me. Smoking Joe with oh. a good solid left hand. I stepped to the side, see if we can get him there. Ooh. I just want him to use a lot of his stamina this round here. I'm gonna take it off. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Even that stamina gauge back to even here. He's got me in the stamina department, which I don't like. Good one shot upstairs. Final ten seconds. I'm hoping I, I still won that round even though I took it off. So I think I got better shots in than he did. I got to build my stamina back up. That's what I want. Let's go. Dropped his down. I'm back up to 90. Now he's down to 84. And I stole the round too, so that was sweet. That is a sharp uppercut by Joe Frazier. Keep it going. Damn. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there's some opportunities. Yeah, I think there's counterpunching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. Ah. Uh. Grabbing on to his opponent. Oh, no way! Are you kidding me? What? Wow. That was okay, whatever. Can you get up, please? Thank you. So he goes down, but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Right Beating now, the shit the out of him for three rounds and one shot cripples me. Thanks. What? Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Joe Frazier. Morrison's jab lands well. Piercing jab. Damn. Damn. He's not controlling distance. He's standing too close in front. Needs to adjust a little further out. Morrison's done a good job there offensively scoring with that left hand. There he is on the inside doing well. Great hook to the head that time. Bro, you can't get any more flush. A knee shot, son. A solid left hand by Tommy Morrison. Morrison coming through now beautifully. That's the combination punch. Kidding me. Morrison's able to avoid that punch. And he ties up on the inside. Way into round number five here. You should keep that head. See, that's what you want from his left hand. That's exactly what it should be doing. That left hand by Tommy Morrison. Well.
Well placed, well timed combo up top. That's a good hook by Morrison. Morrison's showing us the side that we have seen. Damn it. There it is again. He's got a sneaky right hand, boy. Don't be so sure he's gonna stay with this, Joe. He might just be doing it for a diversion tactic. You know, just to survive right now, maybe buy him a little bit of time, confuse the opponent, keep his opponent at bay, and then go back to what he knows best. We'll look out for that. Why is his opponent struggling so much here? Why did he not land a clean head? For well, one reason is his opponent is moving his head into the Bro, I cannot hurt this homeboy. But there's no change. He's just throwing straight naked punches at him. He needs to make a little adjustment, a little adaptation. Man, he, he can take a, a shot. Bit. Get him ball sport. <clears throat> get him out of position. Get him off balance. And then time him a little bit. He keeps just throwing at him. He's going to keep doing what he's doing. Move air around. What an impact that left hand just made by Tommy Morrison. Right to Jesus, there it is again. That is so deceptive. Sneaky ass punch, man. It's deceiving. Fine work with the left hand. He landed well by Tommy Morrison. Morrison's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the ah. animation working, land both punches. Hook upstairs. Morrison still shaking as the feel that uppercut. Targeting a left hand down low. There's the combo to the body. Oh, uh, you see him with the left of the head there? What Beautiful upper, baby. Nice. Throw that jab first to open that guard. Bam. Stay down. No, he's getting up. Down he goes. Now up he gets. And if he wants to stay up, he's going to have to grab on. Kill a little time. No! Nice work with the overhand right. Get out of here, dude. No way. Oh, my God. Because when his opponent scored the knockdown, he got a little careless, a little lazy. That was insane, man. Morrison's back up, but is he <laughs> it's like, how did you hurt me? We're going to find out in a second whether or not he moves his head. Now, if he just stands there straight and you're the trainer, you better get up on those steps and stop it. He's not right. Fucking beating the snot out of you. I think I won all fucking rounds, dude. Like, look at this guy. One shot to the body, and it's like, what? You got to figure out a strategy, and your fighter's down to one eye. Well, I hope that he read some history books. Oh, he watched the movie named 300. You saw that movie. Oh, yeah. It's a great movie about the Spartans where they were outnumbered, and they had to get the terrain right to fight the fight. They had to get into the mountains where the greater forces, the great army, did not get Oh, my God. They did not get in there and battle where they could take advantage of their superior forces. That's what he's got to do. He's got to move the fight into a part, a portion of the ring, where he will not be vulnerable on that side. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Morrison's getting himself into the mix now, landing that I got to be a lot smarter here, man. So I might not get up. He knocks me down one more time. That was kind of hard for me to get up. That was only the second knockdown, too. If you're opposite that fighter, what do you want to do? What you want to do is just keep going and hey, you know that old saying, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Well, he's giving it to you. I mean, I understand that overhand that could have knocked me down. Yeah, man. But that body shot that hurt me, and then he threw another one and dropped me. I, it's what the fuck? Nice block by Joe Frazier. Frazier's doing a poor job. There's no other way to really say it. I mean, he's sitting there trying to stay committed to being a counterpuncher. 
But in the meantime, the fight is getting away from him in a big way. Yeah, he needs a plan B right now. You know, he came in with plan A, Joe, but plan B is what he needs. He has to find another way to create offense. He's not going to be able to do a countering on the back end. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Good flush shot by Tommy Morrison. He committed to the jab. Jesus. Home the bacon with Come the on, baby. Well done. Oh, that's a big hook right there. Good, solid right hand land. And the round is over there. He might be done. I think I'm just going to charge him. Yeah, look at that. All 10 rounds. He's the busier fighter. Or all. Throwing more punches. And as we start I want every one of those rounds. He's up big on Teddy's scorecard. Well, he's getting a little opposition. I mean, the other guy must have a big bank of kind of stuff. You know what the other guy... Except that round, what, he knocked me down with the overhand, right? He just got a fall call from his wife. And guess what? Apparently, I won the round. He dropped me with the body shot, too. You know, something happened. You're account for zero. You better start fighting. Fuck, man. Tommy Morrison's got a real acquired skill here, and that is the ability to pick your shots. In the so you hear the saying when people say, you know what time it is. You have to know what time it is. He knows what time it is. He knows when to throw a certain punch. Look at that combination by Morrison. Ooh. Very accurate with the overhand right. Like, I'm chopping this guy down, bro, and he'll hit me with one shot and hurt me. This is what drives me nuts. Like, these are clean ass fucking shots, bro. Oh, beautiful uppercut there. And this round comes to an end. Morrison's just doing what he's been doing all night long. We've seen it throughout. He's been scoring well on the inside. He's been hitting those headshots. I don't know what the answer is on the other side, Teddy, but there's got to be something they can do different. Well, one thing is he has to notice that, yeah, he's staying on the outside, but he's pulling back straight every once in a while. So what you got to do is make believe you're an NFL quarterback. Everybody wanted to be an NFL quarterback. You know, Shit. You, you lead the receiver. So what you do is you anticipate that he's going to go back, and you aim a punch behind him. Let him walk right into that punch. Let him pull into that punch. If there was a baseball umpire around, he'd pull that a strikeout by Morrison. Yeah, let's go. Morrison's left, working well that time. Frazier's got those earmuffs on. Damn. Tight against his body. But Teddy, still, mm. some things are getting through. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like driving a car, so, you know, and the, the weather's a little bad, and you say, I, I want to be safe here, I'm going to stop the car. You don't stop and park the car in the middle of the highway. The cars are coming. I mean, he stopped. He did not see that right hand at all. He did, and yet another big shot. Yeah, stay down, motherfucker. Tap you just for your troubles on the way down. Bam, bam. Okay, he don't even know about her. He just gets right up. Five knockdowns in this fight, bro. <laughs> it's crazy. Three for him, two for me. There's that upper baby. Let's go. It's over with.
This shit is done, baby. Back of the head a little bit, looks like, but we'll take here. He ain't getting up. Stay down, baby. Stay down. Let's go. Woo! Beautiful. Unable to go the distance. He couldn't rise up and beat the count. That jab uppercut, baby. He went to throw that straight, and I dipped under it and caught him with that uppercut, and it was over. All right, huge win, baby. Huge win. Let's go. 17 0, 11 KOs. Who are you going to give me? Give me a title shot. Please give me a title shot. Oh, what? Frazier again? Man. So this Bill Terry, whoever the hell this guy is, he's got an 0 and 5. Why am I fighting an 0 and 5 fighter? It's the last five fights. I do was 32 and all. His last five fights is lost. But still, it's why am I fighting this guy? All right, here we go. Frazier again. Uh, do I want to fight Frazier again? Probably not. Uh, this Bill Terry guy. I don't know who the hell I want to fight. You know what? I'll probably take Frazier. No. Yeah, well, no. I'll take this guy out. Why not, right? All comers. What a big bear here. Hope it gives me all my four, my four, full four weeks here of training. And it did. Beautiful. All right, man, Bill Terry, 32 and five. We'll get the training done. We'll head on to this fight. Much love, baby.